Thank you for joining us for another episode of KPON News. Juliana and I are here to bring you Westmont's news for the week of October 23rd to the 27th. Happy to be back in the studio for another broadcast of what's happening around campus. Let, let's head over to Ms. Baez's room for this week's Pledge of Allegiance. Thank you to those third graders for leading us through that. This week is Red Ribbon Week. We have a spirit day every day this week. We hope we, you all came to school in your pajamas today for Wake Up Drug Free Day. Tomorrow is Team Up Against Drugs, so wear sports jerseys. Wednesday is Wildcats are united against drugs, so wear your West Monk gear. Thursday is don't get mixed up with drugs, so wear your best mix match outfit. Friday is be ready to fight off drugs, so wear all red on the 20th. Tomorrow at lunch, our student leaders will be looking out for students following their lunch inspections to design a pledge ribbon. Participants who are selected and design a ribbon will get a drug-free pin or tattoo as a thank you. On Thursday, students will be get to will get to attend an assembly put by the military to learn more about how they are fighting against drugs. Also happening on Thursday, first graders head to Shipley's Nature Center for a field trip. Have a great day exploring, first graders. Continue to bring in those new socks, gloves, and hats for the outgoing September drive donation drive. Remember, we will be helping our local community by donating to those in need. October 31st is the last day to bring in the and your donations. All right, Annabelle and Suzette, what can we expect for this week's weather? Hey, Westmont, Suzette and Annabelle here to give you this week's weather. Hola, Westmont, Suzette y Annabelle están aquí para brindarles el clima de esta semana. We can expect to be more than 10 degrees cooler this week. We will see some early cloud coverage in the mornings, but by the afternoon, we will have sunshine with temperatures ranging from the mid to upper 70s. Podemos esperar que haga más de 10 grados menos esta semana. Veremos algo de nubosidad temprano en las mañanas, pero por la tarde tendremos sol con temperaturas entre los 70 grados. You may need to start bringing a jacket for the mornings. If you do, try to write your name on the tag. That way, if you take it off as the day warms up and forget it at recess or lunch, you can find it in the lost and found. Quizás tengas que empezar a traer una chamarra para las mañanas. Si traes una chamarra, intenta escribir tu nombre en la etiqueta por si te lo quitas cuando el día ya se ha calentado. Y lo olvidas en el recreo o el almuerzo, podrás encontrarlo en la sección de objetos perdidos y encontrados. That's it for Suzette and I. Back to you in the studios. Eso es todo para Annabelle y para mí. De vuelta contigo en los estudios. Thank you, Annabelle and Suzette, for that weather update. We don't have any news to report in our sports and AESAA segment this week. Instead, we will be heading to the office for an interview with our Vice Principal, Mrs. Stewart. Take it away, Brian and Jonathan. Good morning, Wildcats. Jonathan and I didn't have any sports news to share with you this week, so we thought it would be a great idea to get to know our Vice Principal a bit better. Thank you for taking the time to answer a few questions, Mrs. Stewart. You're welcome. I love being able to do this. Thanks for inviting me. Why did you get into education? Why did I get into education? Well, I always knew I wanted to be a teacher, and my mom was a teacher, so when I was your age, I helped in her classroom. She made me work. Um, but then it was something that I always knew I wanted to do, mostly because I always loved school, and I love kids, so I'd rather be around kids every day than all adults. Um, <laughs> how long have you been at Westmont? I have been at Westmont, this is my fourth year at Westmont. I came in 2020. Wow, what an amazing fact. 
What is your favorite thing about our school? Oh gosh, there's so many favorite things about Westmont. I would say though, one, we have the best kids. We really do. Um, they, we, I mean, on dress up days, we have kids that go all out. We have a lot of fun. And then of course we also have the best staff. We have 120 staff members, which is a lot for a school. And everyone just it brings light to my day. If you could go back and give the elementary school vision, visions of you one piece of advice, what would it be? Oh gosh. I wish that when I was in elementary school, I, gosh, what one advice would be to just be myself. I think when I was in elementary school, I felt like, oh, I want to, you know, I would look around and think of things I wanted to be instead of just looking in and being like exactly who I was. What is your favorite thing to do outside of school? I love going to shows. So both of my kids sing and they perform in musical theater. So when they're in shows, I love it. But I also love going to different theaters around and watching all types of performances. Our final question for you today is how can you explain what a glow note is and how students can get one? A glow note. Glow note is one of the best parts of my job. So a glow note looks like this. And all teachers have the ability to give a student a glow note. And a glow note is basically being sent to the principal or the vice principal's office for being good. So when a student is just being amazing, and that could be anything. It could be with being a good friend. It could be completing work or reaching goals. The teacher can say, you know what? You need to go to the office. You're being so good. And they get the note. They come to the office and they we celebrate that student we get a call home for being good name goes on the marquee you get a special principal spirit stick so it could be for any reason that a teacher finds is extra special thank you for sharing us today we feel we feel we know you better already well thank you for inviting me it's been fun thank you for that update Moving right along, our announcement reporters, what do we have for us, Ariana and April? Welcome back to our segment. Ariana and I are happy to share this week's announcements with you. Let's start with which classes earned the GG trophies for the most puzzles earned last week. Our pre-K and TK winner is Ms. Chusolo's class. Our kinder and first grade winner is Ms. Banner's class. Our second and third grade winner is Ms. Acevedo's class. And our fourth through sixth grade winner is Ms. Hodges' class. Those trophies will be delivered to those classrooms shortly. Display them with pride, but remember that Wildcats and other classes will try to take them next week. So get back to earning those puzzles. Let's move along to AR. This is the last week to earn points toward your AR goal. You need to receive 100% of your goal with 80% accuracy to be invited to the field day. Field day party. You can do it. With October coming to a quick close, it will soon be time to announce the names of those students who met their weekly unit goals in Lexia and I Station. Tune in to next week's announcements, announcement segment to see if you met your October goal. Remember, prizes for this include slime, squishies, fun bands, pencils, and more. That does it for this week. See you next week, Westmont. Way to go, Wildcats. Let's finish this up broadcast with our reminders reporters. Welcome back to our segment, where Damir and I bring you, to bring you reminders that help keep Westmont a safe, respectful, and responsible place to be. Bienvenido de nuevo a nuestro segmento, donde el sitio ya les traemos reporters que ayudan a mantener a Westmont como un you may have noticed that there are student leaders passing out Wildcats at dismissal. These are campus hall monitors. Es posible que hayas notado que hay líderes estudiantiles repartiendo Wildcats aquí de día. Estos son nuestros monitores de pasillos de campus. We have five teams of hall monitors working around campus to reward students to demonstrate appropriate dismissal behavior. That includes walking, keeping our hands to ourselves, not screaming, and having po phones put away till the end of, until they exit the gate. Tenemos cinco tipos de monitores de pasillo trabajando en la escuela para recompensar a los estudiantes que demuestran un comportamiento apropiado al fin del día. Eso incluye caminar, mantener las manos quietas, no gritar y guardar los teléfonos hasta que salgan por la puerta. Please respect our hall monitors. 
Do not try to take wild cats out of their hands and listen to the reminders about dismissal safety. We also hope you demonstrate integrity by trying not to get more than one wild cat. We are trusting you to let us know in order to know if you already received a wild cat from another team. Por favor, respeta a nuestros monitores de pasillo. No intenten quitarles los wildcats y escuchen sus recordatorios sobre la seguridad durante el fin del día. También esperamos que demuestren integridad y no tratar de agarrar más de un wildcat. Confiamos en que ustedes informarán a un monitor si han recibido un wildcat de otro equipo. That is it for us, but we are sending it over to Miguel and Maya. They are in the office of Miss Eva, who has some important reminders about the office to share with us. Es suficiente para nosotros. Pero se lo enviaremos a Miguel y Maya. Están en la oficina con Miss Eva, que también tiene un, algunos operadores importantes sobre la oficina para compartir con nosotros. Good morning, Wildcats. Javier and I didn't have any news to bring you from, and I am a chief, and I am a succeed. So we decided to pop into the office to visit with Miss Eva. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy day to review the office expectations. Thank you for inviting me. Can you tell us what the biggest issues you and the rest of the amazing office team are having with the students? It's not really a, an issue to us, but we find that we have students that are too quiet, too shy, and when they come to the office, they don't really tell us what they need. We just need to have you guys communicate more with us. Uh, the only reason why you guys come to the office is two reasons. You're being in trouble, so you come for discipline, or you're feeling sick and you come to see the nurse. If you're here for discipline, we just ask you to sit down quietly on the table and wait for administration to talk to you guys. If you come and see the nurse and there is no nurse in the office, just come and let us know that you're here so you can get the care that you guys need. We appreciate you talking with us. We will do all our best to demonstrate wildcat behavior in the office. Thank you, office staff, for all that you do. Back to you in the studio. Juliana and I will see you next Monday for another news broadcast. Have a great week, Westmont.